Welcome. My name is Maureen Green, and I am a tax associate here at HQ Tax and Financial Incorporated. Today, the plan is to provide the basic information regarding the new Corporate Transparency Act and the beneficial ownership information reporting. We will discuss what is BOI, why is it necessary, um, who will be reporting, what they will be reporting, and when they will be reporting, and of course, the consequences of non-reporting. So BOI reporting, uh, Congress passed the Corporate Transparency Act, a law that requires companies that are formed or operate in the United States to report their beneficial ownership information, also known as BOI, to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, also known as FinCEN. The reason behind this is in the United States, reporting beneficial ownership information to FinCEN is part of efforts to combat illicit financial activities. It's also an effort to collect information that helps to enhance transparency and accountability in the financial system. FinCEN, like the IRS, is a Bureau of the United States Department of the Treasury. FinCEN collects and analyzes information about financial transactions in order to combat domestic and international money laundering, terrorist financing, and other financial crimes. So what specific companies will be required to report BOI? Well, first let's talk about the entity and the definition of a reporting company. Um, currently, there are two basic definitions. You're a domestic reporting company, uh, a limited liability company, an S Corp, C Corp, LLC, and you were created in the United States. Um, you submitted your documents to the Secretary of State or a similar U.S. office. The second defined company is a foreign reporting company also consisting of corporations, LLCs, S-Corps. You are established under the laws of a foreign country, but you have registered to do business in the United States by filing documents with uh, the Secretary of State or an equivalent office. So we have the domestic and the foreign reporting company. And regarding the specifics for a company, you need to provide the company's legal name, all doing business as, if you do DBA on your website or DBA on your brick and mortar. Uh, currently, we're looking for the complete current U.S. address or your current mailing address of the principal place of business. So um, if you are operating in a foreign country, you may have a U.S. headquarters or an additional principal place of business that you will provide that complete address. Uh, you need to provide the jurisdiction or the state where you were formed, state of formation or register, your articles. And finally, for the reporting company, the tax ID, the EIN, or if it was issued, your tax ID was issued by a foreign company, you'll provide that tax ID for your company. Now we're going to report for the individuals, the BOIs, the beneficial ownership individual's full name, date of birth, complete residential address, domestic or foreign, and an identifying number from an acceptable ID document. So that means if you provide your driver's license number or your passport as an identifying number, you will also submit uh, an image of that particular identifying document with the corresponding uh, ID number. So that will be required. You'll upload that. Now we're going to talk for a minute about the third reporting and to reporting um, requirement. So we have the company, we have the beneficial owner, and a company applicant information. So a beneficial owner, as we know, is um, the individual who exercises the substantial control over the business, maybe at least 25% of the reporting company. 
and a company applicant is the individual who directly files the documents that created or registered your company at the Secretary of State. And there can only really be two individuals that would be considered the company applicant, the individual that does the filing, or if it's more than one person involved, it's the responsible, the primarily responsible person who directs or controls that filing. So that's the difference between a beneficial owner and a company applicant because we identify the company applicant because that information will be required in addition to your beneficial owner information and your reporting company information. But it's based on the formation date of your company. So if your company, if you're existing, one of those 32 million people out there that have created or registered a business on or before January 1, 2024, you will be required to report for your company and your beneficial owners. If you are a new business created or registered on or after January 1, 2024, you will be required to report your company applicants, your beneficial owners, and your business report. And this is how it looks. Uh, the reporting requirements effective January 1, 2024, that is the first date that FinCEN will begin accepting beneficial ownership information. This is being referred to as the initial report. Every company out there needs to meet this requirement the definition of a reporting company, and you're not exempt from that definition. So existing companies, again, all of you out there have created or registered a business in the United States before January 1, 2024. Your initial report is due by January 1, 2025. Now, if you're a new reporting company created or registered to do business in the United States on or after January 1, 2024, you will have 90 calendar days from the date your registration is effective to provide your initial BOI report to FinCEN. And new companies will report their company their BOI and their company applicant information. Moving forward, new companies on or after January 1, 2025 will be limited to 30 calendar days for receipt from receipt of the registration to provide the initial report to FinCEN. That being said, you know, if you don't meet that filing deadline, or of course, providing false or fraudulent information will be met with a penalty, a civil penalty up to $500 each day that the violation continues or has not been remedied. And in addition, they can find up to 10,000 a day or two years of imprisonment. So all BOI inquiries there's maybe a message at the end of this video where you can type something in. We'll be certainly taking some time to look if there's a submission there or a question. But we have help at hqtax.com for the U.S. office and help at hq.legal in a Pakistan office for all BOI inquiries. Thank you very much and um, enjoy your day.